Hey guys, uh, this lesson is a uh, measure of center and spread, so we're going to talk about mean, uh, which is average. You guys know how to do that. We're going to talk about the quartiles and all that stuff, so here we go. So don't forget all your lessons can be found at uh, MrMathBlog.com, and this class is Integrated Math 1, so when you get to the top, there'll be a, a yellow ruler at the top, and right about here, uh, it says Integrated Math 1, so there's all kinds of other classes there, too. All right, so measure of center and spread is uh, mean and median, and I think you guys have done this before, but if not, the mean is the sum of the values of a set of uh, data divided by the number of values in the set. So you add them all up and divide by how many numbers there are. You remember that? And then the median is your middle value when you rearrange them from smallest to biggest, or biggest to smallest, it doesn't matter, but you gotta put them in order. So sometimes, uh, for example, there's uh, one number in the middle. So if there's just one number in the middle, that would be the median. Sometimes there's more than one number. There's two numbers in the middle. So you'd have to average those two numbers together, and that'll get you your median right there, okay? So let's find the mean and median of each set of numbers here. So here's the first one here. So uh, we're going to find the, the mean. We just add them all up and divide by... There's seven numbers there, so divide by seven, and we get 50 right there, easy enough. And then to find the median, you got to rearrange them uh, to put them from smallest to biggest. Usually that's what I do, but you can put them biggest to smallest. And then the middle number right here, there's seven numbers, so it's this fourth guy right here. <coughs> Excuse me. So uh, you get 49 on that. Okay, easy enough. And then here we have uh, six numbers. So, so what we're going to do is uh, add them up just like before and divide by six. And that's our median right there. And typically we round it to the nearest tenth. So I should have put 139.2, but but whatever. This one's actually more accurate than 139.2. Uh, and then the median, we got to rearrange them from smallest to biggest. And then here we have these two numbers in the middle. So we're going to have to a uh, average those two. So add them together and divide by two, and we get 98.5. Okay. So, um, consistent data means all the, uh, the numbers are close to each other. The more inconsistent the data is, the more spread out the numbers are. So, uh, in the last set of data, uh, it was tips made at a restaurant. Those numbers were uh, represented tips made at a restaurant. So, I took out the word problem part. So, so which measure of center is more accurate than that last set of data, data describing the typical value? Was it the mean or the median? Well, here is that data right here. Okay, so here's the mean. The mean was 139.17, and the mean was 98.5. Well, which one's closer to the rest of the data? Well, this uh, this 360 really threw it off right there. So, so this le this lesson that measures the the center and the spread. So here, the mean is way higher than all the values except that one value making the mean not central to the rest of the data it's not in the middle the median is a more accurate and central uh, number right there so that one large value is um, uh, the, which was 360 made that data inconsistent right there okay so um, other uh, measures of spread are called the range quartiles and the IQR, which is the interquartile range. So the range, all you do is take the biggest number and subtract the smallest number. It's the range from the numbers of the smallest to the biggest, or the biggest to the smallest. The first quartile, which is Q1, is the median of the lower half. And then uh, the third quartile is the median of the upper half. Okay, and the median uh, is not included when you're finding the quartile. So, for example, right here, whoops, and then the inner quartile range is Q3 minus Q1 right here. So, here's my example right here. So, here are um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 14, 15 numbers here. So, the middle number is that 5, so that's the median right there. Sometimes books call it Q2. The median is actually your, your second quartile. Uh, but it's just the median right here. So that's the quartile right there. And then we don't include that when we talk about the bottom half of the numbers right here. So here's the bottom half of the numbers, and you find the middle number for that. The median of the middle number is uh, 3, so that's quartile 1. And then the median of the upper numbers is that 7, so that's quartile 3. Okay, the IQR is you subtract quartile 3 minus quartile 1, so 7 minus 3. And then the range is just uh, the biggest number over here minus the smallest number, so 9 minus 1. Okay, easy, right? Okay, so here's some numbers of runs scored by a softball team in 20 games. So find uh, the quartiles and the IQR and the range and the median. Okay, so here we are. We've got to rearrange them from smallest to biggest. 
and then there's 20 of them in there. So we got to get uh, the middle numbers, which is the 10th and 11th number. So it's these two numbers right here. Okay, those are our middle numbers right there. So, so the median is going to be the average of those two, which is that 7.5. And what I like to do is just place that up there because it makes a new number. This is our median right here. So then our lower half starts right here. So it starts with this 7 and it goes down to 2 and the upper half starts with this 8 and it goes all the way up to 14 right there. Okay, This median is right here and we don't include the median. We include all the lower half to get the first quartile. So the first quartile is the average of these two numbers. Well that's just 4 and similarly the average of these two numbers is 10. But if they were different I'd still add them together and divide by 2. So there's your first and third quartile and then what else does it say? Oh the IQR you take Q3 minus Q1 to get 6, and the range is big guy minus small guy is 12 right there, okay? All right, I'm going to split this lesson up into two lessons, you guys. So if you're in my class, uh, that would be your assignment. Take care.